when there's no more room in hell, the dead will walk the earth. Welcome to the channel if you're new to the channel and um, welcome back to the channel if you're not um, it's good to see you again we've got some ampage happening let me just get rid of that um, so we're looking at the Laney L5 which is the Lionheart studio so you may have known like a couple of years back now they introduced the IRT studio which was the Ironheart studio which give you this all this great reamp and function the ability to use USB and um, a direct um, emulated line out the ability to run that without using a speaker cabinet and also use it as less than one watt or a 15 watt but with the L5 as the name suggests you get the Lionheart but it's a 5 watt or a 0.5 watt output same amazing emulator di which sounds absolutely incredible and the same usb functionality that you got with the studio and which you get with the um the base head the um the nexus studio so let's have a little look at it so it's two channel amp it's a class a amp which is different than class a b in the, the way it um amplifies the signal with class a b it's two it amplifies two the top and the bottom of the sound wave, whereas a Class A amplifies the whole sound wave. So it's a little bit more dynamic. Um, if there's anyone in the comments, there's a lot of Valve kind of experts out there that could completely um, inform us on how Class A versus Class AB works. Yeah, Rob Stafarian, shout out to Rob Rob Stafarian, Stafarian. big shout out to Rob Stafarian, because that guy seems to know his eggs. He knows them eggs. eggs. So Rob, get on in. Come on in and let us know what Class AB is all about. I kind of know it a little bit, but to try and explain it in this video would be a little bit geeky. And as I'm thinking about what I'm saying, what I'm playing, what I want to eat for dinner, and what Bibby's current level of Negatron is, I find it a little bit too hard to manage when I'm talking about Valve-tronics as well. <laughs> you do. So here we go with, so we've got a clean channel. It's a shared EQ. We've got a clean channel, drive channel, a bright switch. So we're gonna look through some of the tones. I'm gonna to take all my effects off. In the intro, you would have heard a little bit of um, modulated reverb, which is coming from the awesome Pod HD500X. Line six have got a beast coming, which is the Helix. Um, which means, I think, that these guys are going to be going relatively cheap. And if you don't want a Helix, go and get one of these because it, if people complain that it's not pro sounding, it is, it, man, I've had compliments about my sound at many different gigs. It does okay. I did sell a tape into this massive board, though. It's a bit of a nightmare. Um, so... This is, this is the clean channel you've been listening to. I have the bright engaged. My clean volume is about eight. Um, will this amp be loud enough for a band? As the bells toll. Currently in this rig, I'd, I'd say not. Fortunately or unfortunately, it's a five watt head. It's freaking loud for five watts. Is it gonna be loud enough for kind of a Mooney sized drummer? No. It's, it, nice kind of jazz stuff maybe but if you're playing a gig you're going to want to mic it up or you're going to want to run that amazing sound and di um or you want to run it through your usb into your laptop run all of your digital effects on your laptop which is what i was doing at nam if any of you guys have seen us at nam or frankfurt then you know what we were running and um, sounded absolutely epic and i was running out of powered monitors sounded brilliant so do that instead really don't worry about having on stage volume um, from this rig because it's far too sweet to have um, pant flapping volume. So clean volume is currently about eight. 
and I've got the bright switch engaged. Um, so what I'll do is I'll just take out that delay, take out the reverb. So all you're hearing now is a direct signal from the L5. Now, because the, dry, the level is quite high, I'm getting a bit of chunk. There's a little bit of crunch in there because I'm driving the clean channel so hard. Um, or to eight. But as you can tell with that class A um, kind of um, amplification, I'm getting a very dynamic sound. It's super clean. Or it's got a little bit of hair. Depending on how much I put in. And the volume actually changes as well. It's such an open sound and amp. And um, so let's take that bright switch off, play the same chord. And then put the bright switch back on. So what you get is that kind of Vox-esque kind of sparkle at the end, like a chimey kind of feel is what they call it, I think. Um, so we've got a bass, middle, treble, reverb, and a, tr a tone control. So let's see if that reverb kicks in. There you go. So natural. Like a really natural kind of spring sound reverb, and I think it's it's digital reverb, but it's Laney's own kind of take on that emulation, which is brilliant. It sounds really really sweet. natural sound and reverb and that can go cavernous if you like moon verb I'm not into it so I reckon about five man straight up that's about my level of reverb pretty nice um, tone control is kind of like a global presence control on other amps so it takes you quite a kind of subdued Tony, womany kind of tone, I think is what you would call it, Bib. And then straight through to kind of like rip your eyes out sharp, kind of like scorpion tail sharp. So let's go from the tone control on zero. jazzy sounding and then let's go all the way up to full obviously everywhere in between so just got it gets really sharp I kind of like it around six just find that that's really quite pleasing um, so let's have a look at the drive level uh, or drive channel and see how that kind of fares. So keeping the EQ exactly the same, keeping the tone on six, just gonna kick with my supplied foot control, which gives us um, reverb on off and um, your channel selection. Um, and this is your drive tone. <laughs> rock kind of riff kind of Cool man, it's for, for your kind of um, moderate to 
rocky kind of tone, blues to rock. Would you say a bit blues to exactly rock? What it covers, yeah. It's not metal, but it's pretty much everything below metal. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So if you if you if you are everything below metal, this is the amp for you. And if you like cute things, it's about the cutest amp I've ever seen. Right, so that is with your, and that's also got your um, bright engage. So let's take the bright off the rock channel. right back in. Awesome, right, so let's sweep through the EQ now that we know that it just, it just sounds brilliant. It, and I'm not saying this because I'm saying it because I want to. Everything I I seem to do with Laney, you can't get a crap sound on them. It's it, there's less great, but it's your sound. It's it's just a great sounding amp, and you just change it slightly. It still sounds great no matter what you do with it, which is a sign of a good amp, I think. Also, straight up, you put Laney straight up, it just sounds great. And um, so let's fart about with the bass a little bit. So I'm just gonna hit an A note with the um, distortion channel on. I'm gonna take the gain down slightly. Um, just so you can hear that kind of clarity. And then I'm gonna take the bass from nothing to full. And then back down to four, which is where we are And I'll take the mid from nothing to full. Travel from nothing to full. So as you can hear, there's nothing overly harsh about anything. The bass doesn't become super flubby. The mid doesn't kind of wash your frequencies and your treble doesn't take your eyes out. It, you can have, you could take that treble Put it on full. And it's still going to be functioning. Uh, reverb we've done, tone we've done, and that's pretty much it, guys. It's a... Uh, it's tremendous. We're going to do another video where we plug it in um, USB, so it's a direct recording interface with a reamping function, which is brilliant. Um, and we're going to put it through um, the DI as well. And so you can hear what it sounds like when you're just emulating uh, a speaker cab. But for the ability to show up at a gig, plus, oh, and it takes pedals absolutely brilliantly. So if I just do the pedal thing, so we're going to go back to the clean channel again. Take that reverb off. And take your treble. Give yourself a similar preset that I had in. A similar channel. And then I'm going to put what is essentially an Ibanez um, tube screamer. It's just built into the Gemini pedal, um, which is the Steve Vai signature. Which you can't get anymore. What a shame. Complete shame. Look how you can't look at it. More pedals should look like that. Anyway, so if I take that and I drop that Gemini in, and then bring a little bit of that reverb back in. Just 
awesome sound. Cool, man. So, takes pedals really well, sounds really good. It, the Class A nature of it's really, really cool. Worth a check out, I think. Um, getting rave reviews across the board. Um, so, yeah, go and have a little play in your local store with one. And we'll see you next time. Take it easy, guys. <laughs>